hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i am going to show you how to store the html form data into the excel sheet okay using node red so if you are new to the channel or if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel kindly subscribe so without wasting time let's get started so here i am going to create a simple form using node right here so i'll be taking first initially http node okay so that i'll create a one get request here so this is my get request url add data after that i'll be creating one javascript file here so before creating javascript i'll take one function node where i'll set my post url So I'll be entering my post URL here. So message dot URL is equal to that post URL, whatever you want, can give the name here. So I'll be giving Excel post data or Excel post. Okay. Click on that. After that, I'll be taking one template node. So this template node basically I'll be using to create or write a JavaScript code here where i'll be writing a, a jquery to call a form submit okay so this will be a pillar dot script which i'll be passing in future to the html page so let's get started with the coding part here so this will be called on ready so that is initial phase when we try to execute that or try to call that url so this jquery will be called so don't worry, I'll be adding this code in the description. Okay, I'll be giving the link of this. So you should be having some jQuery or JavaScript knowledge to work on this part or to understand this. Okay. So I'll be doing some Ajax calls here. So that's the reason I'm using this. So I'll be basically calling this on submit of a function. Close the places here. So after that, so I need to call this prevent default so that the after the form submit, it should not reload. As it's a default behavior of submit form or it's a default behavior from the HTML, so we have to prevent this. After that, I'm creating one variable where basically we have the form data, or that is a serialized data which will hold my data which are sending from the form. So this is a serialized function. This will be holding my form data json format after that i'll be using form url okay so this will be like dollar this dot okay this data I am storing in a variable. So method can be on top uh, upper case. So I'll, I'll just pass that upper case method here. Dollar Ajax call we'll do now. Okay. So before that, I'll try to add some loading image. That's it. Like when you try to call the functions, so it may take some, take some time to execute. That's the reason I'm adding here. After that, I'll be calling Ajax function. Okay. So here I need to pass all the methods, basically URL methods, everything. This is form URL. Okay. After that, what type of data I'm sending?
what type of method it is so i'll be passing that after that what is the data i'm trying to pass cache i'm setting as false now here so after success what should be the response so after success i'll be calling some function okay which will return back the HTML content or HTML data. Close the places. So here I'm trying to send the result to whatever we are getting. Okay. For that, I will stop the loading of image. Loading image, okay. Close the braces. Dot hide, okay. So that's it from JavaScript part here. Okay, nothing need to be added. After this, I'm going to create one HTML form where I'll be adding some content like first name, last name. Okay. So that's the data I'm going to store it in the Excel. So I took a template node here. So I'll just remove this content, whatever the default is there. So I'll be creating a HTML form. Okay. <coughs> Head attack. So I need to import the script of jQuery. Okay. I'll just pass here. So I'll take that jQuery URL or you can say CDN also. So I'm passing here, which will help me to call the jQuery functions. Okay. So I'll be creating one div here where I'll create a form. So basically this form will be holding first name and the last name. So form method will be the path method which are trying to pass like that is a post method because we are posting the data and action will be so the action will be like slash bracket will be like such x is equal to true so label will be for first name can write it as first name here after that I'll be taking input tag type is equal to text so I'll be passing some IDs here close the tag So I'll be passing the name also. Okay. Before that closing, I'll be passing name and close the tag here. Same way, we will be using the last name also. last name and same way we have to add the input tag type is equal to text <laughs> id is equal to your name and name is equal to last name At the end, we will be having creating a button button tag here, which will be type submit. Submit value is equal to submit. Okay. 
So we'll import the script tag here. We will be adding script tag because we have created the JavaScript code there, so we have to import it here. So, before that, I guess I have missed the body tag to add, so I need to add it before div and close down here okay now it's fine so in the end import the script tag so it is required triple bracket here so payload dot script okay that's it from the front end side in the html click on done at the end we need HTTP a response node connecting it okay so one of our step is over okay now we have to create another step where it will be a post method so when you try to post the data it should redirect to this URL and post the data okay so I will be taking this Excel post as a name so this will be the URL Come down. okay I'll need to add here one JSON node where I need to convert the string object into a JavaScript object. To count down, and there is one node called ala file. Okay, that that's a uh, where we have, your file will be created or it will be generated in the locally. So I need to give the file name along with the path here so that the file should be created for the particular path. Where I want to create okay I'll be taking some path here from the locally so the after that I need to create one file name which is required so that I have added here and click on done so extension will be like xlxx by default you can change another thing will like as it's required so I'll be okay I forgot to check the post method here so I did it and click on submit so okay there is no file it generated Okay, I'll be entering the name here, something like Suresh and uh, Raina. Okay, click on submit. Okay, after that you can see that uh, output is there in the debug and there is a file generated with the my data. Okay, so this is the output here. So this is the output Excel file. I hope you learned some uh, very good example of HTML to Excel storing data. Thanks a lot guys for watching this video. Hope you like this content. Kindly do subscribe, like and comment down below if you want more videos like this. Thanks, thanks a lot guys.